Hello, welcome to my video on amniocentesis. This is a part of our series called Be Aware, Be Prepared and Be Safe. This is an initiative to enable patients take informed decision regarding pregnancy and scan services. So what is amniocentesis? This is an invasive test which is usually performed during 16 to 20 weeks of gestation. This will give a definite answer about chromosomal structural problem about the baby. What does amniocentesis involve? This is a procedure which is usually performed by fetal medicine specialist. This is a procedure which involves withdrawal of amniotic fluid which is surrounding the baby when the baby is in mother's womb. This amniotic fluid is formed by shedding of the baby cells and this is usually used to diagnose chromosomal structural problems such as Down syndrome, Edwards and Puttaus. The results produced by the amniocentesis is called a karyotype. A karyotype is nothing but reading the structure and the chromosomal structure of the baby that indicates if there is any problem or not. In spite of performing the procedure, there is a chance that 1% of the time we might not end up in a result at all. Why is it recommended? This test is highly recommended for patients who are at risk of genetic and chromosomal abnormalities. And this test is usually performed for the following reasons. When the mother is more than 35 years age because as the maternal age increases, the risk of Down syndrome also increases. For example, when the mother is of age 25 years, the average risk of having a baby with Down syndrome is 1 is to 1200. That means out of 1200 mothers or at 25 years age, there will be only one person who gets affected with a Down syndrome baby. But when you compare the 25 year old age mother with a 40 year old age woman, the, for, the risk of a 40 year old woman having a Down child increases as to as high as 1 is to 100. And also when the pregnancy screening test which is either performed during the first or the second trimester of pregnancy shows a high risk of chromosomal problem. Family history or either from the mother's side or the husband's side if there is any family history of genetic or chromosomal problems. Previous obstetric history, that means the mother or the couple with a previous child with chromosomally affected problem, for example, a previous child with Down syndrome or any chromosomally affected children. And also, when we do a routine ultrasound in the baby to see the structural malformations of the baby, if we suspect any chromosomal problem, we advise them to undergo this procedure. In cases of intrauterine infections or in where the fluid level in the mother's womb increases, a procedure called amnioreduction is also advised. That is to reduce the amount of fluid which is surrounding the mother's womb. How is amniocentesis performed? Before the procedure, an ultrasound is done to measure the baby, the amniotic fluid and the basic anatomy. Then the abdomen is cleaned with sterile solution to minimize the risk of infection. An ultrasound is used to pinpoint the amniotic fluid pocket from which the fluid is drawn, which is well away the baby and the placenta, so that this does not harm the baby in any way. Then using ultrasound guidance, a long thin hollow needle is inserted through the maternal abdomen and into the sac of fluid which surrounds the baby. The position where the fluid is withdrawn is usually kept away from the baby and the placenta. Sometimes not enough fluid is withdrawn from the, from the amniotic sac. That's when we need to insert the needle second time. Definitely this baby will produce more enough fluid within 24 hours time. 
This amniotic fluid contains the shed cells from the baby. So then it is sent immediately to the laboratory for analysis. The initial first report is usually available within 7 to 10 days. The entire 46 chromosome report is available within 4 weeks time. Afterwards, an external fetal monitor is also used to listen to the baby's heart. Is amniocentesis painful? Amniocentesis isn't usually painful, but the patient may feel some uncomfortable sensation during the procedure. Some women may describe pain or a crampy feeling in the abdomen or feeling of pressure when the needle is inserted and usually when the needle is withdrawn. The patient may also feel some pinching or squeezing or pressure sensation during the procedure. This procedure usually does not involve anesthesia. How long does it take? This procedure usually takes around 15 minutes time. Afterwards, the patient is monitored for any symptoms such as bleeding, crampy pain or pressure sensation. What is the risk of miscarriage following an amniocentesis? Earlier, they were taught that the risk of miscarriages was high, as high as 0.5 to 1%. But the recent studies have shown that the rate of miscarriage is very less, as low as 0.1%. That is, when it happens one in every 200 to 300 procedures. Before the patient decides upon the procedure, the complications and the risk involved are discussed by the doctor with the couple. The risk of amniocentesis, usually the risk of miscarriages following an amniocentesis usually increases when the procedure is performed much earlier, that is before 15 weeks of gestation. And that is the main reason why we perform this procedure after 16 weeks of gestation. Sometimes this procedure might yield a culture failure report or an infection when this procedure will have to be performed another time. Recovering after amniocentesis. After amniocentesis, it is normal to have cramps similar to period pain or vaginal bleeding for a day or two. It is advised to avoid strenuous activities, but the patient is advised rest for a couple of days after the procedure and can resume normalcy after three to four days. However, the patient should definitely contact the obstetrician if she has excessive crampy pain in the abdomen or excessive vaginal bleeding or in case there's reduced baby movements or no movements at all. Amniocentesis. To summarize, this is an invasive test typically done between 16 to 20 weeks of gestation. It gives a definitive answer whether the baby has a chromosomal disorder. A sample of the fluid around the baby is extracted under ultrasound guidance. This sample is tested. There is very minimal chance of miscarriage. The initial report will be available within first 10 days and a complete report is available within four weeks after procedure. For your benefit, we have all this information on our website at www.chennaiwomensclinic.com.